Hello, today I will be demonstrating how to install desktop or on-premises versions of Office ordered through Connecting Up or TechSoup New Zealand. This demonstration will not cover how to install Microsoft 365. I'll begin by opening the installation guide on our help center as I'll be following this. A link to this can also be found in your fulfillment email. I won't be covering how to get your product key from either the Volume Licensing Service Center or Microsoft 365 Admin Center, as that is different depending on the product you purchased. For this demo, we're going to be starting at the third step, which is downloading the Office Deployment Tool. To begin, we're going to right-click on the download link and open it up in a new tab. On the new screen, we're going to click the Download button. It's going to be a small file, so it'll be a very quick download. Once it's downloaded, we're going to head over to our Downloads folder and run the program. First, we need to accept the Microsoft licensing terms, and once we've done that, we're going to choose where we're extracting these files. As per our guide, we're going to extract these to a new folder called Office Setup that we'll be creating on the C drive. So navigate to your C folder, click Make a New Folder, and call it Office Setup, which is case sensitive. Click on OK, and the files should extract successfully. The next thing that we're going to do, following the guide, is we're going to delete the default configuration files that Microsoft has just extracted for us. We're going to be replacing them with a file provided by TechSoup that will be easier for us to use. So just select those configuration files and delete them, making sure to leave the setup file in your folder. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work out what configuration file we need by getting the right version of the software, e.g. standard or pro 2019 or 2021, and whether it's the right version for our operating system. If you don't know what version is right for your operating system, open up the settings screen like I'm doing here, click on system, and then click on about, and look at the system type section. Here we can see we have a 64-bit operating system so that's going to be the file we'll use. Again, we've got a product key for Office 2019 Professional and a 64-bit OS, so we're going to right-click that file. We're going to choose Save Link As. What we're going to do now is we're going to save this configuration file to that C Office Setup folder that we have just created. So, go ahead and save that file. Again, small file, quick download. What we're going to be doing next is we're going to make a quick edit to this file. So open up your C folder and right click on that configuration file you've downloaded and choose to open it up with Notepad. This will open up the file and it's going to let us make some edits to it. As you can see, it's mostly configured for us. We just need to paste in our product key in the PID key section there. So I'm just going to go copy my product key now. And when I've copied it, I'm just going to paste it over those hash or pound marks that you see there, making sure to leave the quotation marks alone. And when I've done that, I'm just going to save the file and close it. Next, to make our lives just a little bit easier, we're going to go back to that Office folder. We're going to right-click and we're going to rename the configuration file and just call it Configuration. This is going to make our lives a little bit easier for the next two steps. Now, we are going to download and install the software using the command prompt tool. To do this, we're going to open up that file explorer. We're going to type CMD in the address bar and press enter to bring up the command prompt tool. As you can see, I am doing that on the screen now. And that opens up the command prompt tool and it's already set to point to our Office Setup folder, which is exactly what we want. So now we're going to go to the guide, and we are going to copy this download command. So you can either type this in, or you can do what I'm doing now, which is just copying it. If you go back to the Command Prompt tool, you can press Control-V to paste it in, and press Enter, and that will start the download process, which you can see is only indicated by that blinking, dashing line. That does mean that it's downloading the software, so it is a good sign. Depending on your internet connection, it can take a little while to download, so feel free to have a bit of a break while the software downloads for you in the background. You will know that the software has been downloaded 
because once it's done, it will just return you to another line on the command prompt tool that will just say C drive office setup, like it's done just there. So when it looks like that, we'll return to our guide. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the next command, which is almost identical. It just replaces the word download for configure. We're gonna paste that in and we're gonna press enter. And this is gonna start the installation process. Now, you may get a warning screen here asking you if you want to make changes to your device. If you see that, make sure just to press yes, and you should see this, you know, we're getting things ready orange box. This is a good sign. It should turn into an installing office box in just a moment. Here we go. All right, so now it's installing the office software for us. And much like the download process, the time it takes here is just going to vary depending on your computer. So feel free to just wait this one out. Again, take a little bit of a break. Uh, Microsoft will let you know once the software has been installed. Now the installation is almost complete. When it is finished, again, you'll get a confirmation screen letting you know that it's all done. So feel free to close down the confirmation window in the command prompt tool. And you can open up one of the applications. Now, the first time you open up an application, you may be prompted to activate it. It does show you an activation screen. Just choose the default option to do it over the internet, and it should be done for you in just a moment. But as you can see, we've opened up Word here. We can open up a blank document, and we've got all the features. If you do want to double check that you've activated it, you can click on File and then Account, and it will show you what version you have installed and whether or not it's activated. That's it. Thank you for watching.